All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this game is over. Um, well, it's not technically over, but it is closer to over than anything else. Um, Canada did win the game by a uh, very reasonable margin. It's a sure um, double-digit ball game. No problem with that. Um, but the problem is that um, they didn't really just do too well in the second half. Like, I hate to say this, but their second half is okay, right? They weren't bad. They weren't horrible or anything, but their second half is okay. Um, Mexico did better uh, in the second half. Um, but, you know, in the end, they still lost. Canada still won. Just look at the score line. You can see it's a 20-point deficit. Uh, yes, and... Uh, Basically, Canada almost got 100 point again. So, the problem about this game is that, look at that play. Um, so, first of all, let's break down the good, goods and bads. Good thing, uh, Melvin Edgem did a terrific job in this whole game. Uh, rebounding, shooting the ball in a high percentage, and uh, very focused. Andrew Wiggins did well again. Um, his second half was okay. Uh, his first half was really stunning. He knocked down a few three-pointers in the third quarter, I believe, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's... Oh! Boy, and... Seems like we, there's a, some kind of a, an argument over there. Anyway, so... Um, the game is over. Right? 0.7 seconds left. Since <laughs> nothing's gonna change. Canada wins by 11 points. 94 to 73. So the worries, there are worries, right? Like I'm, this is not an, an entirely uh, impressive game. Basically, there are still many worries towards the game. Uh, obviously, um, sorry, I had to pause it for a second. Uh, obviously, people say that Mexico lo lost this game on a strategic move, and I don't believe that. The, the commentators, they're trying to say that it's not the case because, uh, for, for whatever reason, but for me, it seems like a very strategic kind of point of view, I mean, approach, because what you do see is that they want Canada to feel like that they're a sucky team. And that's exactly what Argentina did to Canada. They lost tremendously bad to Canada in the Tuto Marchand um, pre free of America like tournament and when they show up in the actual tournament they smashed Canada in the first game right and that's the only loss Canada so far has in the tournament and uh, the truth is right if they make Canada feel like that they're not a contender they're in good shape because they can all of a sudden stun Canada perhaps in the semifinals when they meet in which they're very likely to meet because it seems that Argentina is going to go perfect unless uh, Mexico beat them tomorrow, which doesn't really matter to Mexico um, because Mexico is not going to get there. Uh, Mexico is not going to place first in this whole uh, second round anyway, so they're, not, they're going to play either Canada or Argentina in the semifinals. So then, the strategic move for for team uh, for Mexico is essentially to make Canada feel like you know they're not that good, and you can see that in the second half, Mexico Mexico isn't just a horrible team that crushes down. Like they're a good team, they make sh shots right. Like the shots weren't there in the first half; they were just ice cold. Second half they were okay, and look, they scored more in the second half in Canada, right. Um, although it's not like a huge thing, they score one more point, <laughs> but you can see that there's a reasonable difference between how uh, the first quarter went down and the second quarter went down, and that's very concerning for Canada, I believe that, you know. So yeah, well, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the game like I did, please thumb up the video. Otherwise, the second half is pretty much no, like way less drama than the first half. Again, the judges, the referees, they didn't do much. Strange move, too. So, that's it, guys. Peace.